Tap it, man. Action. <laughs> Take one. Good? Yes. Alright. Okay, so uh, when we're looking at acids, there's two ways you can measure them. One is the Ka. Okay? So the Ka is the concentration of the H3O plus times the concentration of OH minus. Got it? What's H3O plus? It's another way to just write H plus, acid. You guys got that? Now, pH, how do you find pH? Remember, how do you find pH? Negative log of the concentration of H3O plus. Now, one thing that has to be really, really clear in your brain. This Ka is measurement of the acid. Every acid has its own Ka number that belongs to the acid. It never changes. As long as you have the acid, that's your Ka. What does pH belong to? The mixture. We're going to get into this a little bit, okay? Because this belongs to the actual mixture. Once you poured it into the water, you look at what's finally there, the concentration that's finally there. Do you guys understand that? So this is a slight difference, and you have to be able you have to recognize it in order to get the questions right. What was the question that you had in the uh... Okay, so for example, uh, we have uh, hydrofluoric acid. Okay, hydrofluoric acid um, has a concentration of 0 0.0020 molarity. Okay, now what's the Ka of hydrofluoric acid? 2 times 10 to the negative 6. Now, what the question is asking is what is the pH? pH belongs to what? The mixture or the acid? The mixture. So I need to find out how much H3O plus was in the mixture. So first step, you have to do is write the chemical uh, equation. So how would you do that? HF, well, this is how you teach you to do it. Can you do plus H2O? Yes. So the way your teacher does is HF plus H2O is going to give you H3O plus plus F minus 1. Right? Yeah. So what happened? This hydrogen went to the H3, H2O, became H3O plus F minus. Where, which, which, which of this is the most important when it comes to acids? H3O plus. This is the guy you're looking at. Because I'm, right now I'm thinking I want to find pH. So I need to know the concentration of this. You guys got it? So what's my initial? What's my I? HF is what? 0 0.2. They gave it to us. Point zero zero twenty. How about my water? We skip it because it's liquid. We don't really pay attention to that, right? How about my H3O? Zero. zero and zero. Now what's my change going to be? Minus x here, right? Do you understand that? How about on this side? Plus, plus. plus x and plus x. And what's my equilibrium? Point zero zero twenty minus x. This is x and this is x. How are we doing so far? Good? Now, what would be the uh, K equilibrium equation of this. So it's going to be the concentration of H3O times the concentration of uh, F, right? Divided by the concentration of HF. Now, since this is an acid, we can make this Ka. Does that make sense? No. Uh, what's my H3O? X. What's my F? X. What's my HF? 0 0.0020 minus X. Okay, and actually just realized I made a mistake. This is Ka. This right here specifically is called Kw because it's the acidity of water. Okay, so acidity of water. Okay, just realize that. So this always equals 10 to the negative 14. But when it comes to Ka, this is the same thing as K equilibrium, but it's for an acid. Okay? It's a little mistake there, but that's okay, right? Okay, so 
This equals what? This equals x squared over 0 0.0020 minus x. Now, uh, what is the Ka of Hf equal? This is like telling you your K equilibrium. Two point, uh, yeah, so 2 six. times 10 to the negative 6. What are we going to do now? Cross. Cross multiply. So you guys do that? Can we do that? So it's going to be x squared equals 2 times 10 to the negative 6, right? Times 0 0.0020 minus x. I thought we forget about that. Good. We're going to, I'll talk about that. Yeah, good. This x, well, I'll, sh I'll, I'll show you in a little bit, but chat's right. This x is going to be so small that even including it is not worth it. And I'll show you guys. We're going to do it both ways. I'll show you. So, Cap, can you calculate this for me? Distribute the x. Uh, so, distribute this, right? What is this going to be? What's 2 times 10 to the negative 6? <laughs> Jeopardy would be better. <laughs> huh? 4 times 10, four times ten to the negative 9. So x squared equals 4 times 10 to the negative 9 minus 2 times 10 to the negative 6 x. Right? So now what am I going to do? Actually, we should just remove the x because it gets you complicated. Anyway, just trust me on this, okay? The x is going to be so small that it's not going to be, it doesn't need to be included, okay? So we're going to remove the x. So then uh, it makes it a lot easier, right? So then this is just going to be 4 times 10 to the negative 9. And then we're going to square root both sides. What do you get? So we're, we're going to remove the x. Huh? 6.3 to the power 10. 6.3 times 10 to the power of what? Negative 5. Negative 5. So what's my concentration of H3O plus? Huh? X is what? 6.3 times 10 to the negative 5. What's this right here? X. So what is my concentration? 6.3 times 10 to the negative 5. So this is going to be 6.3 times 10 to the negative 5. I can add it in the but does it matter? No. No. Right? And I don't need this minus X, right? Because it's so small, it's insignificant. Okay, so if my concentration of H3O plus is 6.3 times 10 to the negative 5, how am I going to find the pH? Plug it in. Plug it in here. Does that make sense? So my pH is what? Negative log uh, 6.3 times 10 to the negative 5. Which is 4.2. So the pH is? 4. Good? Yes. Huh. Don't die though. Oh, that's your KA. That's what they'll give you. Oh, okay. That's your KA. So remember KA, this is the KA is the same thing as K equilibrium. Mm -hmm. But it's a K equilibrium of an acid. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? So once you find the K equilibrium here, you set the formula, yeah, okay. you just make it equal to this. How was the lesson, guys? Stellar. <laughs> she loved it.